This is what I am sewing today in the greenhouse, for the greenhouse. <laughs> um, this is a really cute lettuce that did well last year. Um, this lettuce little gem is a beautiful lettuce. Um, I really enjoyed growing that one. Um, mustard, spinach, tender green is one of the first things I grew for the greenhouse last winter and man, it did so great. This was so easy. Did so good. Um, and yeah, the carrots I will do in grow bags in the greenhouse. This is the seed starting mix that I always use. Um, it is really fine. These are my cat proof containers. <laughs> so the cats don't use my soil as a litter box. Um, this is a seed starting mix. It's just really loose and fine and um, easy for the seedlings to grow in. So I finally got some of that. And checking on the seeds that I started, um, I don't know, three-ish days ago, if you're following along. Um, they're in order on YouTube, so you can go back and see. But this is the um, cauliflower maserata, I'm not sure how you say it, the green cauliflower. Um, yeah, look, it's already up. I can't believe it. So now that the seedlings are all up in this tray, or even if most of them were up and not all of them were up, um, the dome lid comes off so they can get, you know, sunshine and air. Right, Harry? <laughs> My buddy. Um, and then I just saw that. Look out, buddy. that some calendula is up too. Yay! So what is this? This is, yep, my favorite, the Orange King. That's always exciting. So like on this one, because, <laughs> Harry, you're making this really hard, buddy. <laughs> um, because I only have three seedlings, I'll just keep the dome lid on um, till 50% or more are up, and then I'll take the lid off. You can check on the others here. I know the cilantro is not up. It takes a while. That seed is big and hard. Nothing. And I still need to get my cover to darken the tray for the pansies and the violas. I haven't done that yet. It looks like nothing else is up yet. Nope. Oh, here we got a little, we got some sprouts. Oh, those are looking good. On Harry, really? You're on that tall stack, you're gonna knock them over. Oh my goodness, come here buddy. Um. That is also Orange King, Harry. Also Orange King. Wow, those germinate fast. So, and that one, I only have three, four, four poking up there. So I'm gonna leave that on for another day or so. See what happens. So at this point, Gardener Supply makes a, there's a tray that sits in there and you put a, uh, a uh, wicking mat on top of the tray and it just it helps so much to keep these from drying out. I need to order some more of the wicking mat um, and when I do, I'll show you. But yeah, a little tray, put a little mat on there and these just suck up the water from that sits in the bottom of the tray. It works so well, but until then, I wanna keep them from drying out. If you saw my video the other day, um, I think I posted it on YouTube. Anyhow, the water hose, the misting, sec the misting setting on the water hose works great for watering these instead of squeezing this a million times over. I just poured my water in here, so mixing up the 
seed starting mix with the water and sometimes it just takes a while to get that water to absorb into the soil. It uses a surprisingly a large amount of water. Okay, I got that all mixed up and that is perfect. How it just clumps together like that um, is perfect for this uh, seed trays. So just stuff the soil in the trays. Kind of hard to do with one hand. You want to get any air pockets out. You don't want a bunch of space in there. And then level it off. <laughs> and this is ready to plant. I'm going to do these two trays of the lettuce little gem. So just look on the back. The seed depth is a fourth inch. So I just go through and make a little thing there with my finger. And then I'll just drop the seed in and cover it over. It's kind of hard to do with one hand on camera, one hand on seed packet. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put the seeds in like this instead of holding them in my fingers. With lettuce, it usually works pretty good. So then you'll just go over and just pinch the soil over the seed. What are you two doing? Are you chasing bugs? Are you chasing bugs with Sylvester? Huh? What's Sylvester doing? What are you doing, buddy? Make sure you put your name of your plant and the date in there. I just did that the other day. I was saying the other day, make sure you do this. And then I didn't. And then I had a mystery plant, but I was able to figure it out. It was the cauliflower. I'm going to water them in real well. Put on your humidity dome and that tray is done. I won't show this process for all of these seeds. I showed you I'm starting, but the same thing. Um, just fill your tray, check your seed depth, and on your packet it might be in a different place, but make your little notch, put your seed in, cover it, um, put your tag in, spray it with water, put your humidity dome on, and you're done. <laughs> it really is that easy. So I hope that was helpful and I'll be back in another day or two with what I am sewing next for the greenhouse. The carrots, I just do in grow bags and it's just as simple as, I have this one grow bag here. I just used my hands to re-fluff the soil. It's, it's fresh soil from spring, so it's plenty fine. And I just sprinkle it over the surface. Let's see if I can do this. I normally wouldn't use my hand. <laughs> Why don't I do that? Hang on. I just take the carrot seeds and literally just go over and sprinkle them on. Just try to spread them out. I just kind of give them a little tossle on the surface to make sure they're just a little bit buried. Press them in. Put my plant tag in and water them in real well.
And then I'm going to cover these with a cloche um, to keep my cats from using this as a litter box. There we go, the carrots are done.